One thing that brings together all Americans, both the right and the left, is participation in the political process. Every election, pro-gun Americans make an evidence-based decision to cast their vote to whichever candidate is most likely to protect their rights, while anti-gun Americans come to the polls after they bully corporations into deplatforming and ostracizing their opponents. Hey guys, it's Phil with the Minuteman Moment. There's no doubt that meaningless buzzwords like woke or big tech or tax stamp have been said before in the conversation on gun rights. But since this is GOA, let's remove the fog and dissect how your gun rights can be infringed by the private sector as well as the government. The first myth to bust is never assume your rights can only be infringed by one or the other. Almost every time your rights come under attack, it's because of a coordinated effort from the elites or elitists in both the private and public sector. GOA's friends at the American Accountability Foundation, or AAF, specialize in finding the good, bad, and the ugly in administration officials for the executive branch. And recently, they've been paying attention to the revolving door between DC and Wall Street. Back in the good old days, corruption used to work like this. After working on Capitol Hill for a few years, or being a member of Congress, or working at a presidential administration, you went to K Street in Washington, DC, to work as a lobbyist. Now, although this is still definitely a thing, what's happening more frequently is people are creating laws and regulations in Congress and the White House, then working directly for a massive corporate giant on Wall Street instead of K Street. And as it turns out, they're all rich anti-gun tyrants who hate anyone with a gun unless that person has a gun to protect them. One of the biggest investment firms in the world according to some analysts, is BlackRock Investment Management and Financial Services. AAF uncovered a lot of information on just how radical some of these senior members in the firm are, but we want to put the spotlight on the head of strategy for sustainable investing at BlackRock, a guy named Jonathan Posen. According to AAF's report, Posen worked for the 2008 Obama campaign and in the Obama administration as an assistant to the Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner. And of course, he's donated to Democrat candidates, including Bernie Sanders, the senator. There was a simpler time when guys like this said they were just fighting for equality. But now they're fighting capitalism by smashing small businesses and expanding the power of massive multinational corporations. But Posen isn't looking to the good old days. He's trying to be progressive. And in doing so, he's gassing more lights than a Victorian lamp factory. And because nothing on the internet dies, AAF found a deleted tweet from him which says, Republicans support mass murder. He also liked a tweet from The Bulwark, posting an article on the massacre at Uvalde saying, these kids died after Republicans, in the name of law-abiding gun owners, blocked legislation that might have prevented this tragedy and kept this shooter from outgunning the cops. For that, they should be called what they are enemies of law and order. It would be one thing if it was just Joe Schmo sounding off on Twitter. If he was involved in a Republican administration or Republican elected official, the media would be all over this guy. But because he's working for a private company, no one bats an eye. And this is where Americans need to start paying attention. Don't think that because they're not in the government, they can't oppress you. Private actors can take away your gun rights as well as the government because they're the same people. Posen brags on his LinkedIn that he writes public memos for BlackRock CEO Larry Fink and plays a hand in influencing what they do. One of those things is divesting from gun manufacturers. And according to a press release from BlackRock, they are giving investors the option to partake in funds which are not connected to the gun industry. And additionally, BlackRock announced they want to have meetings with gun manufacturers regarding business policies and practices. And that's just code for, hey guys, we had this giant pile of money and we'd love to share it. But so long as you throw some hurdles at people trying to exercise their second amendment rights. But don't take my word for it. Just look at the suggestions in the press release. What strategies do you employ to monitor how your products are being sold? Meaning, are you tracking your customers' purchases so it's easier to expand the ATF's gun registry? Or are you investing in research and development to promote the safety of your products. What, like a smart gun, which is really easy to malfunction and get shut down? Here's another one. What are your policies and practices for determining to whom you will sell firearms? Do you set age limits? Do you require background checks? And what is the rigor of those background checks? And here's one more. 
What licensing do you have for your gun sales? I mean, at this point, I just can't even go on. Look, I'm a big proponent of liberty. I like the idea of removing constraints on the individual private citizen or on a private entity and restricting the government. But gun owners need to understand the reality that the anti-gunners in the government are still being anti-gun, but not only through the government. What this comes down to is that GOA doesn't care if an anti-gunner infringing on our gun rights is with the government or a private corporation. When you go to vote, pay attention to who is part of their staff or their administration. And when you buy goods and services, know which multinational corporation owns that. But most importantly, share this video and start a conversation with your friends and family on how your votes for liberty is not just with your ballots, but also your dollars. And so let us all know below in the comments section what you think about big tech, big corporations, and how other private entities can infringe on your gun rights. And make sure to give us a like, and we'll see you next time.